Ah oh, yes, the iron eggs technique. A technique passed down in many forms of Kung Fu. This video was sent to me asking the question, how is this done? How do you get bowls of steel? With enough meditation, aligning your chakras, and focusing your chi, you will realize that this is absolute bullshit. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. You see, there's no difference between this and this. But if you are a cheetophile that is really into trying to achieve this skill legitimately, then you must be into this. What are you doing, step bro? Not about money. It's about sending a message. Everything burns. So unless you're into masturbating a lot so that your balls go into spasm and retract up into your body, then there's no other way to achieve this but by faking it. So let's break it down. This is a nice one if you want to show your friends how tough you are at a party. But also your friends are going to think you're kind of weird. But anyway, if you slow down this footage, you'll see that he's just putting the one hand there, blocking his nuts, before actually hit striking. It's that simple. So the first time we see him do it, his hand's nice and low. And then from there, when he starts striking, boom! That's when he just covers his dick and then hits his hand. Whoop! Boom! Whoop! Boom! Second time around, now he comes with both hands. But once again, he's just putting the one hand in front there and then hitting his own hand. And just moving a little bit back to make it look impactful. You know, this is actually like the most ridiculous video I've made yet. And somehow this is considered martial arts. Okay. <laughs> just like the previous video I made. Uh, this one's just kicking in the taint. Alright, you're gonna curl your foot or your partner curls their foot and when they kick they're literally just getting the top of their foot to hit you in the taint and like on the butt cheeks as demonstrated like so and I've pro wrestled for a few years myself like it's pretty damn easy so there's actually nothing special about this. If you're wearing baggy clothes and you make it look a little bit impactful, it's gonna look like a clean kick to the dick every single time. Okay, so this one is actually very similar to a toe kick that you would see in pro wrestling. Literally just getting the toe of the foot as close to here as possible. If my crotch is just here, I'm getting the toes as close above that as possible. As tight as possible will make it look legitimate. As demonstrated so. And then of course, you just need to sell the move to make it look a little bit impactful. And then job's done. And then there's that instance where the guy jumps up and as he lands, makes it look like he is throwing a hard kick to the groin. Alright, so the truth of the matter is the jump up and the landing down is actually taking away a lot of power from the kick. It just makes it look more powerful and impactful than what it really is. Because essentially, if you think about it, if you jump up and when you come down, all right, your, the force that you're generating because of gravity is going downwards. So now that you land your feet and then you kick, changing that direction, you're taking 
a lot of potential thrust behind that kick. Once again, look at a front toe kick in pro wrestling. You see when they do that kick, they do a stomp. So all the energy is going into that stomp making a sound. But then it actually takes away a lot of power from the kick. But, but, but accidents can happen with that kick. I mean, I've been kicked hard a few times with it. But if the aim's right, it's gonna look like you're kicking somebody in the groin. And this is the one that you show your friends that you like taking it from behind. But once again, it's just more sweet taint action uh, just happening from the back. Friend is just literally taking their foot and the shin and hitting you uh, in the taint. But the, the kicker here is it looks like the tip of the foot is actually coming around to the nutsack. But let's look at it from behind and you can actually see how ridiculous it looks. Okay, so at the end of the video, they show that the guy is wearing underpants only so that you can see he's not wearing any form of protection. This means nothing because once again, the guy's getting kicked in the taint. Here's us doing it too. Once again, this is Kung Fu, apparently. As you can see, it's actually nothing really special. Just adding a bit of movement to make it look impactful, that's about it. I'm fine. I'm selling it. I'm fine. I'm selling it. Okay, now that you've seen me in my underpants getting kicked in my taint, and while I leave you thinking about my taint, it's a good time to end this video. So until next time, keep safe.